hello guys welcome to this youtube channel and in this video i want to give you five important things you need to know about your roku app these are the five most important things you need to know about your roku app and the first one i'm going to be giving you is about verifications and password now normally if you come to your ver verification profile if you come to your profile you click on your verification you click on your country normally you see something like this that everything is pending i've done my verification a long time ago but roku is now showing me pending like they have, have not been verified but it's normal you can still go ahead to do all the transactions you are doing in case your own is like this you don't have to worry about it you can go ahead continue your transaction it doesn't restrict anything even if it's pending now for password in case you forgot your password you can reach them via the customer service in the app up here but if you cannot come into the app if you are if you are logged out of the app maybe you want to log in and you don't know your password like let me log out of this app right now it's just a simple thing to do now i've logged that and what i need to do here is just I already have an account i'll just click on forget password and rookie will do justice to me for me they will send my password to my email or my phone number what i used to register and there you go if they do that i've gotten my account back so later in this video i'm going to show you how you are going to secure Hi. your well account with a two double layer security so let's move on to the next the next thing you need to know about the next thing you need to know about roku app is this investment and savings when i click on this place i can come over to here this place savings and for people that know usdt if you're into crypto world usdt is a stable coin what does that mean it moves to the price of one dollar Due to the stability of the price of this token, it is suitable to storing value over time. So in case you want to save in cryptocurrency, you don't want your money to depreciate, you just want your money to be like constant, like so in case you want your money to be constant, you just use Roku wallet to save or use your ZZ to save. A month of saving there is 0.8 percent of any amount you have three months is three percent six months is seven percent and a year is 15 percent that's the saving percentage normally it automatically returns your money to you, the dashboard when your set duration elapses now you can also withdraw your money anytime before the dates maybe you have an emergency but that one will cause some extra charges because it's not the due date that, one, that type will cause an extra charges if you're not up to the due date okay that's for investment and savings the third thing most important thing you need to know about roku app is their charges roku charges now i'm going to give you three charges and explain them normally we have withdrawal char withdrawal fee deposit fee and swap fee now for Roku wallet withdrawal fee is zero percent deposit fee is zero percent i've done the video on deposit and withdrawal already and swapping fee is two percent like if i have bitcoin and i want to swap my bitcoin to ethereum i'll click on that bit this swap here then i'll click on which coin i want to swap maybe ethereum i'll click on ethereum now roku will collect two percent of any amount i'm doing if i'm doing 100k worth of bitcoin to swap the ethereum roku will take two percent of that amount which is two thousand naira if i'm doing hundred dollar they are taking two percent of hundred dollar which is two dollar two percent of any amount that's their swap charge and that's the only place roku charges now the next important thing you need to know about this roku 
app is the 2FA. 2FA is a double layer of security. Remember, I told you I was going to tell you something about security. This is one of the most important things you need to do on all your cryptocurrency apps if they have 2FA. 2FA is a it means stand for two factor authentication code. It adds a double layer of security to your phone so that in case someone have your password by any means, that person cannot still log in. Maybe a hacker got your password somehow through phishing website or some other scam ways. The person cannot still log into your account as long as the person does not have your phone because your 2FA password will be in your phone and you need it to enter into it if you want me to talk more about it message me on the comments and i'll explain more about the 2fa so you must you have to put it on your rookie password for security purpose the next thing you need to know about the rookie app you come over to this place down here is the cards rookie have cards you can have a dollar card and a naira card you can create them dollar card with some of two usd and you can also create a naira card the sum of 200 naira so you can anytime you want you can come and create your card at the roku app that's one of the most important thing you need to do now in case you have gotten some value from this video please subscribe like and share this video the final thing and one of the most important thing you need to know is your customer service most people don't normally Go to their customer support when they have issues this place up here is their customer support and it's one of the most important things you need to know so when you click on this customer support normally a, a a bot will chat with you and that bot itself will likely solve anything you have but if you are not comfortable with that bot you can also through this your customer service you can also you can also reach out to human beings you can also reach out to their customer service personnel and they will help you and assist you to do whatever whatever you are going through now if you have any other issues or any other complaint i did not talk about here list them on the comment section and we'll talk about it and know how to go about it so Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, like and share this video. And I'll see you on my next video.